Okay, so now I'm going to cover the ball while I'm waiting for the bag to chill. So I've got some pastel green fondant here and I've got some blue fondant here and I'm just going to marbleize these together for the bowling ball. Thinking, well, better to be safe than sorry. Put a little bit more on there. Uh, let me just knead up this blue a little bit first. You can see this is the look that we're going to be going for, something like that. So I just kind of roll that into a cord after I've kneaded it a little bit and do the same here. Okay, more of the pastel green versus the blue. Just kind of twist this together. We can go ahead and add that in too. And then just start kneading it up. Sticking in my hands a little bit, I'll just put a little bit of shortening there. So you don't want to knead this all the way in, right? We want to marbleize this a bit. Something like that. That's looking good there. So I'll just kind of flatten this out a little bit, take some cornstarch and dust underneath it, and then just start rolling it out. Whoops. Ooh. Wonder if I like, I kind of like that side better. That always seems to happen to me <laughs> when I marbleize things. It's always the back side I like. And I hardly ever, you know, I never say flip your fondant over, so this is unusual for me to use the back. That looks cool. All right, that should be good. Let me get my cake. I remember this one's been in the freezer for a few minutes. Lift this up, slide the cake over, back over the top. Whichever part of the marbleization you like, that looks pretty good there. So just smooth it from the top down. If there's any air pockets, you can lift this up and get those out. It's looking good. Just getting a few little creases out there. There was actually a, a little air bubble there that I got out. And then we'll just trim up the base. Leave a little extra just so you can tuck it underneath. And underneath just like so. And ta-da. Okay. Now I'm going to take a ball tool to make the little marks on it where your fingers go. And I'll do one right about here. And I'll start with the ball tool, see how I just go around, around, around. Then one here, just start it and kind of go around, 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 around. Okay, I think that went into the buttercream a little bit. That's fine though. We're going to put a little bit of black in there. And then see where it pushes the icing up? So just come back and smooth that out. So you need to do this right after you cover this. And then one down here. And it looks like a face, right? Was in a mouth. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just get some black fondant and fill those in. 